So the original equation is the cubed root of 125 x raised to the ninth power, y raised to the seventh power. So step one says you can write each variable in each number uh, one, out one time like this, like 5 times 5 is 25, and this because you have a cubed root, which means 3, so you have one here, a second one here, and a third one here. Okay, over here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 x's, and over here you have 7 y's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 y's. So they're all written out. Now, when you get ready to, all you have to do is cancel. So when you cancel out this set, this is one set of x. So that's okay, it goes here. This is the second set of x, so this would be x squared. But you have a third set of complete groups of threes, so this would be x cubed. And that's what you have here. Now with your y's, you have three sets, and you're doing threes again because they're cubed roots. You have three sets, okay, and a third set here. So you'd have y2, which is written, but you have y by itself, so it's y. Now you're tempted to just leave this as the square root of y because that's all you see, but your original volume were the cubed roots. So that's why this is here. And then this is three sets of fives. So they just come out. And that's why this is your answer. Easy one. Let's move on. Okay, so your uh, original equation was four uh, to the, the quarter root of a fifth to b over three. And you're gonna see something. This line really should go all the way over. And this is the quarter root to the square root of 625a. Um, you also usually in your classroom textbooks, whether they're online or original, they should have, they'll probably have one big line like this and it'll have the quarter root, but this one didn't. So not to confuse you, I'm going to take this off, but this is all you have to do is really think about what this is saying. This is saying there are going to be five A's because this is to the fifth root. So you write five A's because this is a variable and this B, there are three B's. And look, this is a quarter root. So see if you can take this number and write out five roots. And so this is one, I'm sorry, four roots. Two, three, four. There are four roots. So see if you can go five times five is 20 is 25. 25 times five is going to be 5 carrying my 2 is going to be 5 times 2 is 10 plus this is 125 so what's that 1 2 3 and then 125 times 5 is going to be what you know it's going to end in 5 right okay so 5 times 5 is 5 carry my 2 10 12 carry my 1 is 625 so that's four times so your cubed root of this, you already know, is 5. Now, there are not four a's here. There's just one a. So you're going to have to leave it. So already you know this is going to be 5 to the square root of a. And then this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll move on to the next slide and see what happens. So this is a. And please don't think that this fourth root is, it means that it's a4. It's not. So I'm going to write it again. It's a to the original quarter root. Oops. That's too close to the a. It's not a fourth. I just want everyone to know that. That it's a to the fourth root of a b to the cubed root. over 5 to the square root. Now a lot of people are going to take this square root to this square root, 
which you can do to this A because this A took out its cubes. And when you get ready to do that, the A kept out the quarter root here is really because that's the original equation because it has to go to this. So when we go on, we can now cancel these out because these are square roots. You can leave it the way you see it and your teacher should still mark it correct because technically you just didn't reduce it. If she says reduce, then you get into trouble. Square roots are always what? Twos. And a lot of people think that this square root means one, but it doesn't. It equals the same thing as saying the second root. Okay, so they can cancel out. You have five, and you have to keep the original four here. So this is not, this is not a to the fourth root anymore. We got rid of that. It's not what that is. This is a to the quarter root, so square root of b3 over five. So now if you come down here and you look at that you wrote out x to the third and you wrote x three times, these three x's need two more x's to make this five. So you kind of, to make this the fifth root, so you can't take them out, okay, because you need two more. Now this over here is yet another complication it's five but there are one two three four five six seven so what you do is you break this number down the seven is five plus two equals seven so you can take out five of the y's okay so when you take out five of the y's how many do you have left you have two and that's what's written here Okay, and then you take this y out because it was the cubed y, and you don't have to worry about it because it is what? Outside of the square root bracket. Outside of the square root bracket. And so, therefore, this is your answer. Uh, 32 times 9 is 288, and what we're trying to do is see if we can uh, simplify this. And 32 is also the same as saying what? 2 to the fifth root. So we had our 32's out. And you had 5 2's, so you took them out from underneath the square root bracket, and you had to leave the 9. And the 9 and the x to the third, because you couldn't, and then y is here. And this is your answer. 2y. And you go ahead and put the to the fifth root because that's the original root that it was done in. And you really can't take this down anymore because this is three times three. And you need how many more? You need three more because there are two here. So you can't do anything, so you just leave it. There's your answer.